this is our Dickens Festival here in London, aka Narbeth. This is 10 years now, and the town becomes 1840s England. Just think of Dickens' A Christmas Carol. That's what we do. It is by the business association, so it's really just to get people into town and seeing what's here. It brings people from outside of Narberth into Narberth all the time. It's just kind of a notoriety, awareness type of thing. Um, it's also just really fun and Christmassy. It kicks off the season, and it's, uh, it's a good time. If you're an adult, the first thing you want to do is, you know, get a copy of the festival newspaper because it has everything in it. It has the, the schedule of the day, when all the performances are going to be. It has a map that shows where everything is. So you grab a newspaper and then you see what you want to see. Do you want to see the ballet performance? You know, there's a professional ballet performance that's happening. Uh, excerpts of the Nutcracker are being shown for free all day long um, up on the hill. And you can find that in the schedule of events. I would catch the Men of Harmony who are singing right now over there in Station Circle. Uh, just these wonder, this wonderful chorus of, of singers that are in, you know, dressed in like Dickensian um, garb. I would go over to the hot toddy booth and get a hot toddy glass because um, when you uh, get your hot toddy glass, um, it comes with some complimentary beverages. Each different bar has a ver their version of a hot toddy. And I would definitely, I would pop into the stores too because the stores that are here every day, um, they make up the business community that runs this event. And so do some of your Christmas shopping here. I mean, it, this whole event started as a way to reward people for shopping here, for shopping local in our small town, instead of doing all the shopping on Amazon or going to the mall. Come here and shop. So while you're here, make sure, you know, you buy some stuff, you know, have lunch, you know, buy some Christmas presents, buy some Hanukkah presents. And um, there's just a ton of performances. And before you leave, take a horse and carriage ride. Some of my friends are Morris dancers, which they will be here at 1 and 2 o'clock. There's carols. There's many, many wonderful food vendors. There are seasonal sales of apparel, such as I am wearing. There's fruit. You can see the fruit cart behind you. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful thing for the whole family. There's also a scavenger hunt in which the young people find the characters out of a Christmas carol and they're rewarded for it. I'm one of the characters in the scavenger hunt, so kids who uh, participate in the scavenger hunt have to go around and identify all of, what do we have, eight characters? I think they collect a wood nickel for every character they identify and then they, they get a prize at the end. We have carriage rides, we have hot toddies, we have performances. It brings us all together every year. We get thousands of people. There's a number of characters who come out of the Dickens books and are here uh, entertaining the public talking with people about uh, the season and lifting our spirits. I think Narberth has done this for how many years now? Ten years yeah. nearly? Um, and it's to, uh, I think, bring people down to a, um, the little city center, our town center, um, and celebrate the season. Narberth likes things that are fun. Narberth likes things that are great for families. And given that it's in a huge volunteer effort to make this happen, it just sort of came together as a community. Planning for the Dickens Festival happens starting tomorrow after the Dickens Festival ends. It takes a year-long work of the business association, our volunteers, different groups meeting, coordinating with our public officials to make a big event like this happen. The population of the town probably doubles for this one day, so it's a lot of work. Because the labor is very low cost. We don't have to pay most of the people. Most of it is done by volunteers. You know, the cost is, I don't know, more than $10,000, less than $20,000 because we have to pay the performers, we have to buy the props, we have to buy glasses and mugs and um, we have to pay the horse and carriage rides and the ice sculptors and um, if we had to pay for labor it would be way more expensive. And it's because so much of this is done volunteer that we can offer for free and there's no charge for admission here and almost all the things that you do here almost all the activities are free here at this festival this town is a big draw there's a lot to offer here and it brings a lot of people in they, they do fun events like this all the time festivals um, and great shops great people and i think that's awesome i think it's wonderful i think it brings everyone together it's a great reason to get out of your house and it's so easy to hibernate once it gets cold but for me what's really nice is it kind of reminds me of gilmore girls like it reminds me of kind of a fairy tale community neighborhood feel that is better than anything else where 
know. It feels like it's out of like a really great TV show. It's a special town. Like a lot of people know each other and they want to celebrate together. And we always have a lot of festivals here. And we also get other people from other places to come and visit and enjoy. Being an enclave inside Lower Marion has given us a bit of a different culture in some respects. Having a main street where we're walking here that is not part of a main thoroughfare, so there's not heavy traffic, it's given our downtown a different character and one I think lends well to sort of what people think of in terms of a Dickens novel and an old downtown. Um, so having our town have that, a lot of people who don't live here maybe wish they were a little closer to something like that. This festival gives them an opportunity to come down and celebrate with all of us. And this town, I think, is all about community and getting people together and having different activities that um, there's just a lot of a big creative spirit, I would say, um, as well. So um, it says we care about doing things that bring people together and get them to experience something that's a little bit outside their norm. We do this as a, 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 f a festive occasion for the season. I mean, this is, this is a small town and we invite people to join us in our celebrations. We don't think it's unusual. We think it's unusual that people don't do things like this.